there. Today we are going to do a boxing that I did with liquidation.com. I've always wanted to do one of the auctions of the unmanifested items, return items. And so I purchased this one. We'll see what happens. But before we do that, let me show you the, the screen. I'm going to share this with you. Hopefully I did this right. I'm going to show you the screen and uh, the items that I purchased. So again, it is with liquidation.com. Uh, you will notice that I did do this back in uh, October. I've been waiting to open this box for six months. So I'm finally uh, getting there and I'm super excited that we get to do this. What I bid on was a, a lot of 15 packages. Yeah, I like that, so it'll be fun. A lot of 15 packages from a high-end boutique and it's mixed returns. So I really didn't know what I was going to get. And the packages were just supposed to be returned back to the store, not opened. So they did not know what they were going to mail me. I noticed that it says a high-end boutique. However, the packages are coming from Renton. I like that. They're coming from Renton, Washington. And, um, and that they are saying that the condition of them, they are returns. And it was 12 pounds. So I paid uh, $140 for this auction right here, $140 for the auction. And um, and just in the description, it says this lot, I'm gonna highlight this for it's, e for it's easier, is 15 general merchandise return packages. Packages may contain electronics, clothes, shoes, soap, candles, dog cat items, hair accessories, et cetera, from mostly high-end boutique located in Beverly Hills. So I'm hoping that these are going to be some good quality items, at least that is leading me to believe a high-end boutique in Beverly Hills uh, would most likely have good quality items, right? And so we had it shipped. Of course, uh, the condition of the packages are unknown. So they're you know, a little CYA, they're covering their booties, and that there's no guarantee of the item conditions or the contents, and that all sells are final salvage. So anyhow, I paid $40 to have it shipped. And so my total was $180.25 for, for this auction. All right, so I'm gonna switch our camera view so we can open it and see if I got a good deal or a bad deal. Bye. Okay, so here we go. Trusty scissors to open this. With 15 packages, I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. So I'm a little, I'm a little bummed, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. See they're numbered. Okay. Oh, it's taped. There's no number on that one. Um, that one's taped. Interesting. I wonder why they would need to be taped if they were conditions unknown, but maybe that's just me. Well, let's see here. It could be six or nine. A little too short for my desk. My biggest concern is that I really want to be able to recoup the money that I paid into it because the last thing I wanted to explain to my husband is, oh, by the way, I spent $180 and it's worth absolutely nothing. So I definitely don't want to do that. Looks like there's a pair of jeans here um, made by Hudson in Los Angeles. Looks like they're size 26. I really don't know this brand. Um, the jeans are cute. Looks like hopefully the zipper works. Obviously, these are way, way, way too tiny for me. Um, I don't see any holes, but I kind of some weird 
crotch puckering there. Um, but they're cute. Okay. They're definitely skinny, stretchy jeans. I don't, probably something like these I might either donate uh, because they're way too darn small or um, I might put them on the Posh website and see if they're sellable. Again, I don't know the Hudson brand, so I really don't know um, if that's worth anything. Let's go again. Package number four. Just gonna kind of cut along the sides here. Oh, it's got something hard in it, like a cardboard. I'm gonna stop cutting that way. Oh, oh okay. Uh, looks like some dynamic lash with a curler. Okay. And a bag of jewelry, I guess. Um, cute little, cute little thing. Those look like some hair clips to go with it. But just a, it's not heavy by any means, but just a necklace. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not my style, so it's only underwear, but yeah, I don't know. Might interest somebody. I'm not sure this is $200 worthy, really, but, huh, interesting, okay. All right, Nicole Miller um, eyelashes, so, hmm. I don't know if those are a good thing or a bad thing. If you guys wanna leave me comments, that would really help, because I, I, I am not cool. I do not know fashion very well. I'm trying, I'm definitely trying, but, I don't know, I might put those on the posh <clears throat> and see what happens with those. Or I have plenty of athletes, plenty of cheerleaders that would probably want me to donate those to them. Um, so that's a possibility too. Let's see here. Okay. I'm really kind of thinking I should have some gloves. I'm not gonna lie. Um, although in my office, I don't have gloves. So, oh. Yeah, and I kind of wish I had some gloves. <laughs> These look like somebody's slippers. Hmm, okay. Somebody's slippers that were probably, I don't know, used, I don't know if you guys can see this. They're kind of gross. I'll lift them up. That, that's kind of, kind of gross. Somebody's house slippers. They don't have any wear on the bottom though. So maybe they didn't give that much love, but it's got like a grease. A grease marker, grease stain, or something on them. So I think they've been on, but maybe, maybe they haven't had to trudge out outside. And it's Halluci, H-A-L-L-U-C-I, with the two little cherries. I'll put that up there for you can see. So I, I don't know if those are a good thing or a bad thing. I can say um, definitely by the wear on those, they're they're not my thing. Um, I I don't I think I think these are just going to be a great little donation. Um, Unless you want them, put your name in the comments and ship them out to you. Again, I don't think I'm at the $200 mark. Maybe this is the item that will get me there. I don't know. Well, I am noticing a common theme. Um, these all have their names or names are scratched out, and um, and it's like half of the label is on here. So I I, I see that as a common theme, which is. Um, interesting. Oh, and I have somebody's bra. Definitely a time I wish I had gloves. I don't usually wear gloves at the office, but uh, yeah, somebody's bra. Let's see, and it's an, I don't have a name on it. It's soft, it's silky. Um, oh, actually there is a name. It's a, it's a Soma and it's a 34C, which that up for you. It's a 34C. I don't know anybody who needs a 34C, so that might just be a, a donation item. We'll donate it to our our local um, thrift shop, or I don't know. I do a lot of food donations to our shelters, but I've never done besides coats. I've never done like personal items. Um, so I don't know, but. Let's see, oh, a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. It doesn't have any stains, which is kind of nice. Um, it's got two slits in it, so maybe that's why somebody returned it. 
but just a soft fruit of the loom t-shirt. Still not at the 180 that I need. So please, again, don't tell my husband. He will not be happy that I lost that kind of money. Let's see here. I think it's interesting that they are all in the um, in the United States postal packages. I know those are free to free to use, but again, they all either have the top of the label or the bottom of the label. Um, so, like for example, this one has the top label. That one has the bottom, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, some of these are taped, which I think is kind of interesting. I'm not going to say that there's foul play here, but. If you want to put that in the comments, that might be okay. Got Patagonia shirt. The Patagonia shirt um, looks a little dirty. It's definitely got some pit stains on it. Uh, not anything I would put in uh, eBay or or Posh. It is a size small. It's a regular fit. I don't see like any anything major but it's it's been worn it's been loved it's got pit stains and stuff in it so um so far there's a theme of some name brands but not like all of the same name brand which i think is is a little interesting um this is the first time i've ever done this so i i, I don't know what to really expect of course i'm hoping for amazing purses and fabulous shoes and not so much dirty laundry but it's an experience and it's an experience that I am glad that you are here with me to enjoy. So let's open up number 13 here and see what this one does. This one's taped on the back. Maybe I'll just open it that way. Taped on the back always tells me that it was probably pre-releasedly open and maybe they didn't want it and so they taped it back up. Maybe it wasn't worth value. So far, I'm not seeing any value in any of these items. Um, it's a shirt. I don't think that is silk. It's a hand wash dry clean. Oh, it is silk. Uh, Burma Bibas. Let me get that up to you. I, I, I don't know that name. It looks like it's a nice dress shirt. It's definitely been worn. Um, oh, it's, it's got a, it's got a pretty, oh, it's got a button. It just has a hole. The button's got a hole. So it needs to be, it needs to be mended. Um, but just a man's shirt, size 11. I won't put this because it needs mending and I, I could probably fix a button, but if I put something on Posh or something on eBay, I, I want it to be nice. I don't want it to be a, a project for somebody to have to do when they get home. That's, that's never my thing. So again, I have the bottom of the label, but not the top of the label. The box has been taped. Um, which I think is interesting. And by interesting, it just raises my eyebrows. You can't see my, my thick Italian eyebrows today, but um, does make me, definitely makes me question. I will say this as I'm looking for the $200 to, to recoup, uh, so my husband doesn't kill me for spending money that in, at, on a waste. Um, with that, I say don't do these if you can't afford to lose the money. Kind of like going to Vegas. Um, oh, it's a Kate Spade purse. I'll give you that wallet so you can take a look. It's Kate Spade. I don't know if it's authentic because I'm not good at, at doing that. It does have that traditional red on the inside. It's got a little debris in there. I don't see any cash. I don't see that $200 that I need to recoup by any means. But um, it's a cute uh, Kate Spade. It's definitely been worn. Uh, I'll probably just donate it because again, I don't know how to authenticate it. If you guys want to give me some some pointers, I'll definitely take those in the comments. However, uh, I don't. I, I always get leery of, of selling items that unless I know that I paid a lot of money for it, then I don't want to resell it. But it's a cute little purse. It, it still has function, so I'll probably just donate that unless anybody says that they gotta have it and. You want to pay me for shipping and I'll ship it to you. I'll put that in my pile. Uh, but what I was saying is kind of like going to Vegas. So only only gamble what you're willing to lose. And 
Well, this one's got a whole different kind of tape job on the back. But you, you don't want to extend yourself to the point that you no return. I use $200 of what I call my own fun money. So my husband won't be too mad, but of course, um, we never want to lose money. We, we're, in, we're in this to try to make some money for sure. Um, it's a nice shirt. Oh, okay. Another moment, which I, I, I wish I had some gloves. It's got a lot of, um, ooh, Nelly. Let me get that kind of close to you guys. It has a lot of yellow staining on the collar. Somebody's definitely worn this and loved it. It is a Ralph Lauren, uh, but even so, it's 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 well loved. Um, my husband is the master at laundry, so I might give it to him so he can get the yellow stains out of it, and then I'll probably just donate it. Um, it's just not, I don't know, it's just not nice enough. I don't see any rips or tears, but definitely lots of, um, what do you call that one, ring around the collar. So um, it's a size medium, it won't fit anybody in my family, but um, boy, that's got a lot of yellow on it. Um, so was this a return or was this a, a garbage thing is kind of what I'm wondering. I, with the exception of the eyelashes, um, I really don't have anything new in, in this. So am I really getting a high-end return from Beverly Hills? Um, right now, I'm not feeling it. I don't know. You guys leave me those comments and tell me what you think. Uh, let's go for a big box. Let's see what's in the big box. This has been taped. It's also sticky. So let me just cut this open. So the box has already been opened once before. You can see by, by here and by here. I just I just undid it. There was there was a little bit of tape on it, which is always interesting. <laughs> Again, I'll use the word interesting. I'm not gonna say that this was a total scam, but I'm I'm not getting two hundred dollars return right now. Um not at all. So this wow. Out of the way. This is a coat. It looks like a nice coat. Oh, it's a North Face coat. So those are kind of spendy little buggers, North Face is. And I, I think it usually, yeah, it always has it on the shoulder as well uh, for their branding. And uh, let's see here. It's all twisted up. It's an extra large North Face jacket. It's a men's. Um, it's a nice coat. I'm not seeing any holes. Or, or rips. I'm not finding $200 worth of cash in the pocket, which I kind of would like to find. Oh, there is something in here. Oh. I don't know. It's like a bungee thing. I don't know North Face because I really can't quite afford it, but it's like a bungee zipper thingy on the inside of the pocket. So if you guys know what that's for, then let me know. Oh, it's part of this little bungee thing. Okay, interesting. So this jacket actually looks like it's the first thing that's intact that um, that is probably resellable with the hmm, with the exception of a working zipper. So I I don't have a zipper to zip to zip this thing up. So that would explain why we would want to return this item or why we would want to put it in a an auction and get rid of it where nobody could return it back to you to say, hey, this jacket's broken. So there's absolutely nothing I can do with this jacket unless I want to get it fixed. Uh, I can't donate it because I'm not going to donate something that's not, you know, quality for somebody else trying to buy it. I'm certainly not going to sell it unless you have a desire for a North Face jacket that um, you want to fix the zipper on. And I, I have no idea what it's going to cost to fix a zipper. So uh, to me, that's an, an item that is not usable. But um, let's, let's forge on. Here's another package that's been taped. So, so far, I'm going to say packages that have been taped, like the last one I just opened, not a good thing. Um, so far, it's just not a good thing. Um, again, it, I'm not going to discourage anybody from doing this. Uh, just make sure that you're willing to lose the money that you're about to gamble. Uh, I think this it's, it's a fun thing to do, but it's also 
there was a huge risk and I, God, I wish I had gloves on again. I have somebody's bra and it's been, it's been well used. Gross, pretty gross. Okay, so it's a pink bra, Victoria's Secret. I don't know, these are probably $50, $60 if you go to Victoria's Secret. This one has been used, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot. It's a 34D. Um, I, I will just donate this and let them, I mean, it looks like it's a functioning bra. It's just, it's, it's, it's well used. So items from Victoria's Secret and Ralph Lauren and who else did we get? North Face. And so I'm opening items that are, yes, they're high end, but what kind of boutique was this actually from if this was really from a boutique? And that's, that's the question I gotta ask now. Um, because these are items that all don't quite match each other. Uh, Patagonia with um, Ralph Lauren and with uh, North Face and with Victoria's Secret. It's all just not matching. I lost a box behind my desk. Uh, so it's it's kind of interesting how they're they're not matching. It's 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 not adding up, if you will. Okay, another box. It's been taped. So let's see if it's been opened. It has, cause it's not sticky. Let me get my scissors in there. And half of the label, again, it's only half the label and it goes underneath the lip here. I'm trying to be a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes here. A little Columbo, it goes underneath. So this box was sealed with the label on first and then sealed. Um, it's it's not sticky. It's been opened before. So, huh. It feels like another coat. Which the first coat didn't do me very well. Let me get my garbage out of the way. Let's see here. Oh, it's a vest. Oh, it's another North Face vest. So I've got the North Face on, on the front. And then again, we have it here on the shoulder, on the back shoulder. Um, this North Face vest is an extra small. Uh, it's got all this tags. It looks really nice. Let's see if it has the magical thing. So far, I am not seeing a zipper. So again, the same theme, no zipper. I'll check the pockets for $200 uh, cause I really got screwed on these, on this auction. Um, nope, there's no $200 in my pockets. So another broken zipper on a high-end item. And these items, you know, these are $60, $70. Um, the, the coats and the vests, they're, they're wanted. People like these, they, they definitely want to have them. Uh, but Juba is now gonna find somebody that A, does zippers, or, or B, it's just a, I don't know, my dog might curl up with that. I don't know, I don't know what to think about all this. Number eight, so we're almost to the end. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, I appreciate it. Um, I, I think it's, it's good to do these. Oh, I might be cutting an item. I might be ruining my own item. Um, I think it's good to do these because I, I, there are so many videos out there of like the, the magic pot of gold when people are unboxing, whether it's gift cards that are, you know, five, $5,000 worth of gift cards for 20 bucks or, um, again, getting the handbags, the coach, the Louis Vuittons, the, you know, the expensive watches and all that cool stuff that, uh, this is reality and this is what I ended up with. So it's, it's raw, it's not pretty. There's a ton of dog hair, I think. I hope it's dog hair. This looks like a cashmere, yeah. It's a cashmere sweater by Key, it's QI. Maybe you guys know this, again, correct me because I'm, I'm a moron. Um, New York, New York cashmere. This is nice, it's super soft. I don't see, oh, just when I was gonna say it's perfect condition, we got a hole. There's, I don't know if you can see that, there's a hole. Um, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> it. It's nice if somebody really wants cashmere to say, hey, I own some cashmere, but my, my caution to you would be, hey, you own cashmere with a hole in it. Um, and so that's, and, and you would own cashmere with a hole and lots of fur. Looks like somebody had a dog. Somebody owned a dog or a pet. Um, that's just going to donate it. And now we're down to our last package. Again, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. This feels, this feels soft and hard, which I 
kind of concerns me a little bit. Um, trying to open this. Interesting. Oh, it looks like a package and a package. So this one doesn't even have a label on it. It's just got a number. Most of these don't have any other identifying marks on these packages that show that it actually went through the post office. Um, which in that I'm gonna say this is this is interesting. Also, I don't know about you guys, but when I get packages sent to me in the mail, um, they've got like like black marks on them and they've definitely been put through the ringer to get delivery to my home. So it's interesting that these, none of these have that. Um, I'm gonna say at this point, without even opening this, that I did not get my money back out of this whole gig. And in fact, it's probably gonna cost me more money to try to fix like the North Face items. So I could possibly try to, oh gosh. Um, it says UG, so I got that going for me. But again, this is a moment that I really, really wish I would have had my gloves. So uh, it's not for the love that I have for you guys. I'm gonna touch these with my hands, which 